Okay, so I'm going to do a quick video walkthrough of how to use Google Meets uh, potentially for a CAP meeting. So, first things first, you make sure to log into your Washington Wing Google account. So you can see I'm logged in here as my www.cap.gov email, and then go to meet.google.com. Um, this is primarily for the person running the meeting, as I'll show later. You can invite people to the meeting who are not logged in under their Washington Wing email. Uh, that's fine, um, but we have the access to Google Meets through our G Suite through Washington Wing. So go to this. Uh, now, first things, join or start a meeting. So if you're the person setting up the meeting, you'll set the meeting name here. I'll just call it test meeting. Um, if you're someone who's joining the meeting, you can put the meeting code there and it'll join. There's a couple of different ways to join and I'll show that here in just a second. So I'll create test meeting. All right. So I'll pop up. It says camera is starting, audio is connected. The first time you do this, it might ask for permission to access your microphone and your camera. I've already done that, so it's already there. And then I can also turn my camera off. I can mute myself. I can do that all later. So now, so this is our test meeting. No one is here. Hit join now. All right. So it's going to show some information here on how to join the meeting. So you can share this link to people and they can click on it. And, and if they're on a computer, uh, they'll bring up, you know, the meet.google.com. Or if they're on a smartphone, they need to have the Hangouts Meet app. And that will allow them to join via the app on their phone, in which case they'll get video, be able to share their video, all that sort of thing. If the person doesn't want to do that or if they're data limited, they can also just call into this number. They call into this number, it'll ask for the PIN, you give them this, you type in this PIN code, and then they'll join the meeting uh, via audio only. Uh, so they won't be able to see the slides, but they'll be able to hear what's going on. But the other thing you can do is you can add people. You click on this, and now, for example, uh, I mentioned you don't have to have a Washington Wing account to do this, so I will add Tina. Um, so I will send her an invite and then she'll get the invite on her phone and then I'll add that way. After you've closed that window, you can always get that information back again by clicking down here in the bottom left and it'll give all that uh, same information in terms of the, uh, the joining information. And then up here in the top right, you click on the people. That's where you can also hit the add people. Um, so here is Tina is joined, um, just audio only for right now. So now I click on the people again, I can see her, her, she is muted. Um, if she wasn't already muted, you can, the meeting runner here, can go ahead and mute the, the person there, person there. sorry, sorry. Muter, um, but only she can unmute herself. You can also remove a person and you can pin them to the top of the list. So you can pin all your uh, senior members, for example, at the top of the list. Uh, to be able to work with them more quickly. There's also the chat window here, so I would strongly suggest that everyone utilize the chat for questions and that sort of thing. So, uh, and then when we're recording the meeting, which I'll show in just a second, all the chat gets recorded as well into a separate text document. So you click that off. So speaking recording. So all right. So there, Tina just posted a message and it popped up as a pop up there goes away after a bit so you can see there okay there's one new message so I can click on here and I can see her message there um, recording a meeting just go into here and hit uh, record meeting it'll start recording you got to click accept there to just say hey everybody needs to be notified that you're recording so we can you know just make sure everybody's aware that we are recording them um, recording the meeting rather uh, and then so now that's going and when we're done recording you can go back here, hit stop recording, and it'll save to your Google Drive. Um, you'll get an email that'll give you the links to everything. All right, so present now. So this is the one other main thing. So if you hit present now, you can either present your entire screen or a window. I would suggest do, just doing a window, and then you can pick what, what window you want. So key is if you're in Google, um, it has to be a separate window, or if you're in uh, uh, Chrome, I should say, or, or something like that, it ha it can't just be a separate tab. It has to be a separate window. I mean, you can present the window, but then you're just flipping through the tabs. So what I would say is have a separate window, and now you can share that. And so now, you know, for example, I'll bring up a, uh, a presentation, and now here I can, you know, br bring up these Google Slides, and now I can hit Present. And now I'm presenting the slides just as if we were, you know, at our uh, um, 
you know, had our normal meeting and presenting the slides. And so now everybody who is either on the Meet website or connected via their app can see um, can see the uh, the slideshow. Obviously, anybody who's calling in is not going to see it. So here you can see this is the presentation view. So you can see the screen that I am showing, which is the window. Ideally, a multiple monitor would work best, but I just have the one monitor right now. But so I have the slideshow up on one side and this up on the other so that I can see any questions or whatnot and then I can click through, you know, so I can I can see all these different, I can look at what my video looks like. But even if you click here on your video, the people are still seeing the screen that you're presenting. Um, and then again here I can click on the people, I can click on, you know, the chat. And uh, yeah, so this should work out pretty well for presenting uh, whatever classes we need to do for a remote meeting. Oh, and then when everything is done, so, you know, again, people can, can log out, and then when you're done, you can just, uh, uh, so I will stop sharing that window, and now I can just leave the call, and that'll, I am out of the meeting now.